Stop wasting hours searching for cheap flights the old way. Using AI, you can find cheap flights in just a matter of minutes if you know what to prompt. In this video, I'm giving you the exact ChatGPT prompts I use to find crazy flight deals, like round trip flights to Europe and last minute beach getaways for under $200. This video is not just random tips. I'm sharing three plug and play prompts that you can copy paste and use today to save big on your next trip. Whether you're flexible, spontaneous, or planning months ahead, follow along with this video and you will have your next flight booked for a great price with minimal stress and effort. Keep in mind, these prompts work great using any AI tool of your choice. I personally just use ChatGPT. The first prompt, this prompt I call the anywhere search prompt. This is the perfect place to start. Whether you're just starting to plan your trip, gathering information, whether you know exactly where you want to travel, this is going to be the best prompt to use to start gathering information to find cheap flights. And the first prompt reads as follows. Give me a list of the five cheapest and then you're going to plug in your destination or destination description, which I'll talk about how to do in a second. Destinations to fly from your desired airport this month, whatever month you want to travel in. Create a quick comparison table of all five destinations with weather, destination highlights, and estimated fares. Now, to keep in mind with these prompts, anything that is in square brackets, that is what you're going to adjust to accommodate the trip that you're looking for. So let's copy and paste this anywhere search prompt into ChatGPT and let's start adjusting it and I can kind of show you what this looks like um, if you're doing this yourself. So copy and paste this into ChatGPT and we're going to start adjusting it. So give me a list of the five cheapest and let's do United States Beach destinations to fly from your desired airport, which for me, that is Minneapolis. This, let's say we want to do uh, December, you know, get out of the, the, the winters here in Minnesota. December. Now, keep in mind, the beauty of this is this is just one example of this prompt. You could plug in for your destination instead of United States beach destinations. It could be Europe or Asia destinations. It could be great hiking destinations. It could be scuba diving destinations. It could be a specific country like Italy or Thailand. You can get as specific or as broad with this information as you want. So just keep that in mind. You can really adjust these prompts to suit any need or want you might have. And then it says create a quick comparison table of all five destinations with weather, destination highlights, and estimated fares. This is going to kind of help you compare all the destinations that it gives you. So let's go ahead and let's click enter and we'll see what it gives us here. Now you can see here's what it gives you. It gives you a nice looking table. It has, it gives you five destinations here. We see Miami, Florida. We see Fort Myers, Florida. We see Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We see Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we see LA. And like I said, only having five options help you narrow things down, make the decision, decision easier. Then you also see, you know, weather for that time of year, which I plugged in December. And then you can see some different highlights of each destination. So you can see Myrtle Beach here has 60 plus golf courses. Golf might interest you. So that might be a good destination. And then last but not least, it has estimated round fare trips. So it's going to give you a estimation on what you might be paying for this flight for this time of year. And that will also help you decide where you want to go, especially if you, if you have a certain budget in mind. So let's take a look at these here. We got Miami about $160, $200, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Myers. Let's just do Miami here. Miami's great in December and nice, humid, hot weather. It's actually probably not as humid, but it's warm compared to Minnesota. So let's do Miami. And that is going to lead us into prompt number two. 
Prompt number two, this one I call the basic deal finding prompt. This is going to now take the information that was given to you in prompt one and start to make it a little bit more specific to help you find those cheap flights. Prompt number two reads as follows. Help me find the cheapest flight from your desired airport to anywhere in your desired destination that you decided upon with prompt number one in whatever month you want to travel. And for under a budget of whatever your dollar amount is. So it could be a range, a uh, price range, or it could just be a dollar amount that you don't want to spend more than. I want to travel for, that's where you'll plug in uh, the amount of days that you want to travel for. And then I'm flexible by plus or minus a certain number of days. The reason I do this one is because it'll kind of give me a little bit of a broader search to help me find some more flights. And then it finishes with any other specifications that you might have. This might be a uh, night flight or a nonstop flight or a first class flight, or maybe you want to fly Delta only. Here, I give you the freedom to kind of plug in any other specification you might have. And then I'll also ask in this prompt, just give me some date windows for a booking like this. So let's go ahead and copy and paste over prompt number two to chat GPT and let's adjust it. So again, we are going to get rid of the uh, desired airport and plug in Minneapolis. And then we decided to go to Miami. We're going to Miami. So plug in Miami. Miami. And we want to do this in December because that is when it is cold in Minnesota. So December. And let's do a budget. Now, kind of looking at these date ranges here. So it looks, or not the date ranges, the price ranges here from ChatGPT. It says, you know, you can get an estimated fare from $160 to $200. But let's plug in um, $160 just to kind of see if we can get the cheapest rate possible. $160. So we're going to plug in 160. And then let's say we want to go for like a, a long weekend. So let's just say five days. And I'm, I'm flexible by one. Or let's say I'm flexible by plus or minus two days on either end. Now you don't have to do this. But again, it might broaden your search results just a touch. And then let's just say I want also a non-stop flight. So non-stop, non-stop flight. And let's see what it gives us. Okay, so here's what it gives us. It starts with the best fares found. It says round trip price for $115 and one way as low as $58. So this is just kind of giving some general info. Now, keep in mind, this is not a specific flight. We'll later have to go in on Google Flights and actually book this flight, but that will help. Prompt 3 will help with that. And then this is the one I really like looking at here, and this is going to be your suggested date windows. This is going to give you some departure and return windows that are going to be cheaper. So you can see here this first one, it says leaving between December 2nd and December 4th, coming back December 7th and 9th, which is leaving like on a Wednesday to Friday, coming back on a uh, Monday to Wednesday. And it gives you some notes. These are pre-peak, off-peak pricing likely. So it's going to give you some notes on why this price is going to be a little bit cheaper. Now, if any of these date ranges work, um, that's great. And go ahead and kind of make a mental note of that because that's going to help us with prompt three. So um, for me, uh, personally, I like this early December one. It's before the holidays. So I'm going to make a mental note of that for there. And then it's also going to give you some other information here on some booking strategies. But we're going to go ahead and just move into prompt number three. For our last prompt, our third prompt, this one is going to basically kind of wrap everything up and wrap everything together to help give you the information to actually book a cheap flight. And I like to just call this prompt, best time to book prompt. And this one reads as follows. When is the best time to book your desired flight? This is where you're going to plug in really any information you have about your flight into this area here. So when is the best time to book your desired flight and give me 
specific step-by-step -step instructions on how to find this flight on Google Flights. So let's go ahead and copy and paste prompt three into chat GPT. And so we're gonna get rid of this desired flight and plug in our specific flight that we're looking to take. So for this, it's going to be, when is the best time to book a flight from Minneapolis? And now there's not an exact strategy for how to plug in this information. Just get as much information about your flight in here as possible. So hit search. Now, it's going to start by giving you the best time to book, which is really important information because depending on your trip, there's ideal windows when you want to actually go in and book your flight. As you can see for this trip, for this domestic U.S. route from MSP to MIA, the best booking window is anywhere from 54 to 21 days before departure. The lowest fares are for early December, which is great because that's when we want to go. Um... This might change depending on the trip that you're booking, especially international flights. The booking window is going to be probably a little bit earlier. So this is really valuable information for yourself to make sure you're actually going in to book the flight at the right time so you can get the cheapest rate. Then below that, you're going to see step-by-step -step instructions on how to go ahead and find this flight on Google Flights. So let's go into Google Flights and I'll actually show you how to do this. Step number one. Go to Google Flights. Boom. Done. We went there. Step number two, enter your flight details. So we have from Minneapolis, MSP. Boom. Got that in there. To Miami. So I'm going to plug in Miami. Miami. We're going to go Miami International Airport, MIA. Depart December 2nd. Scroll over to December second and return december 7th click done now keep in mind i am actually not in the ideal time window for this trip so the flights will be a little bit more expensive than they probably should be so that's why that um booking time window is really important because i'm way ahead right now so that's probably why they're going to be a little bit more expensive but i'm going to go ahead and click search and now it says here, okay, so sort by price or best flights. So um, there's a lot of different tips and tricks you can utilize here on Google Flights to get you the best price possible. And actually, I made a whole video right before this one detailing some of the Google Flights tools that you can use to get the best price, like filters, price graph, date grid, price alerts. I would highly recommend watching that video if you want to learn more about how to get really cheap flights using Google Flights. I'll uh, make sure to link that video below. You should give it a watch. But here we can see step three is sort by price or best flight. So I can go to the top here in Google Flights and I can search by best by price. So, you know, if I don't want to spend more than, you know, a certain amount, I can do that. But in general, this is basically what you're going to do. And as you can see, chat GPT actually gives you some other things that I talk about in my Google Flights video, like setting price alerts and things like that. So I can go ahead and track this flight price. So if I want to go here, I can toggle this on and I can actually track this price so I can get an email when this price drops, which will also help remind you of that good booking window. But anyway, this is how you're going to go ahead and actually utilize these prompts to book the actual flight. But that's enough talking for this video. Ultimately, what you need to do is you just need to go use these prompts yourself. Start playing around with them, start adapting them, and see what kind of flight deals you can find. As well as just maybe some destinations that you were unaware of, uh, ChatGPT will bring to light for you. So a reminder, our three prompts, we got the anywhere search prompt, we got the basic flight deal finding prompt and then we have our best time to book prompt using those three prompts you can really help make the decision making process easier when it comes to deciding where you want to travel where you want to plan your next trip but also help you narrow down cheap and affordable destinations to find your next best flight deal 
Whether you're looking for last minute deals, planning a multi-city trip, or just want to stretch your travel budget, these prompts can save you time and money. Don't forget to copy, paste, and try these prompts today. Let me know in the comments if you find any great deals or if these prompts have helped plan your trip. Also, maybe share it with a fellow traveler that maybe struggles making decisions or finding those cheap flights. If you enjoyed this one though, please, please, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We will see you in the next video.